This is exercise 24-2A, working with tiled viewports. I'm in the floor plan 24-A drawing file in the Steps Lesson 24 folder. I've turned off my view cube uh, just for clarity. You can enter the viewports command by typing viewports or the hotkeys V, P O R T S. AutoCAD presents the viewports dialog box with the new viewports tab on top. You can select the different views and get a preview of what they'll look like over here. We're going to go with three with the big one on the right. We'll pick the OK button and you'll see that we now have three viewports all with the same objects inside. Put your cursor in each of the viewports and you'll see that only one of them has crosshairs. Only one of the, the viewports is active. You can activate a viewport by putting the cursor into that viewport and clicking once with the left mouse button. If you'll notice, each one of the viewports has its own UCS icon. That's because you can change the UCS in each viewport. We'll look at the UCS in some detail in later lessons. Let's move our crosshairs to the right, make sure that the right viewport is active, and we'll do a zoom extends. Notice that only the viewport that is active zooms. Let's go to the upper left viewport. I'm going to pan a little bit and I'm going to zoom in around the bathroom. Notice that this bathroom has a bathtub in it. I'll move my, cross my crosshairs down here, activate this viewport, and zoom in around the other bathroom, which does not have a bathtub in it. Let's place a tub down here. We'll do it simply by activating this viewport, Entering the copy command, selecting the tub, uh, let's get a solid endpoint to grab it. Then I can move into this viewport, click once to activate it, and copy my tub here. Notice that in the third viewport, the one that shows everything, the bathtub has appeared in that bathroom as well. Occasionally you might want to save your drawing, so we'll save here. Let's save our, our viewport configuration. We'll repeat the viewports command. And on the new name, we'll call this viewport configuration baths. And OK that. Now, once again, we'll go to the viewports drawing and we'll set a single viewport. Notice that since the lower left viewport was active, that's the one that becomes a single viewport. From here, we'll zoom, extents, go all the way out so that we can see everything. And now let's go back to viewports and we can restore our named viewport, like so. 